Hello everyone. Came across this particular screen on Facebook, end quote, and I thought it was pretty appropriate given our times right now as we all socially distance for the health of others. This story, Wishing Upon the Stars, I wrote a number of years ago, and it was illustrated by my father during his cancer journey. It's a story that was inspired uh, from our visits at my parents' cottage uh, north of Montreal. My parents bought this cottage when I was older, my late teens, but I used to go up every summer and just love the solitude. In the evenings, my dad and I used to sit by the campfire or by the water and chat and dream. Well, I started to think, what would it be like if they had owned this cottage, chalet, when I was a lot younger? And combining all of those memories, I came up with this particular story. Ten-year-old MC lay in bed, tossing and turning. Normally, nights at the cottage were not that hot, but this evening, her room felt like an oven. The heat of the summer air was thick, broken by the reprieve of gentle warm waves of evening breezes that waltzed with their sheer bedroom curtains, creating an illusion that puffy clouds were dancing above her head. She listened to the rhythm of the crickets and could hear the odd June bug and moth hit the screen. Moments before, her father had finished the regular bedtime routine, reading her a story that, and covering her with a crisp cotton sheet. This night, something different happened when MC's father gave her a soft kiss on the forehead. She felt a tear drop roll down her cheek. Usually, after this routine, she was able to quickly fall asleep, but tonight it was not that easy, as she knew this tear was from her dad. The day that just passed was filled with events that brought forth many questions and worries for MC. Five minutes later, letting out a big sigh, she yelled out, Dad, can I have a glass of water? I'm thirsty and hot. In minutes, her dad appeared at the door with a large tumbler filled with cool water. Here you go, my princess, drink up. MC sat up, took the water, and drank it down slowly, making a point of looking at her dad. His eyes were watery, but he forced a smile as he stood up, took the empty glass, and left the room whispering sweet dreams. MC laid in bed, tossing and turning. Her frustration was mounting while the sheets tangled in her legs. Angry, she flipped her legs over the side of the bed and tried to stand up, but before she knew it, she fell to the ground with a loud bang. Her tears followed. In seconds, her father appeared at the door to see her in one massive crying mound on the floor. Shaking his head, he approached her chuckling, saying, what has happened to my little princess? Carefully, he began to untangle the sheets from her legs. The reassuring words from her father unleashed a dam of uncontrollable sob sobbing from MC. Dad, why does it have to be so hot? Why did Jaju have to die? Can I live with you forever? Are we always going to be buddies? Dad, I don't want to lose you too. She gave her dad a big hug drenching the back of his shirt with her tears while he lifted her off the floor. Hey buddy, I know it hurts. It hurts me too. What do you say we go down by the lake and sit on the dock? Maybe the loons in the night sky will be able to help us feel better. It's a lot cooler down there, reassured her father, setting her on the ground and taking her hand. On the way out, her father grabbed a flashlight and a blanket. The full moon guided them with bright beams as they walked down the gradual stone path to the dock. The minute they reached the dock, they could hear the deep croak of the bullfrog nestled in the shoreline grass. The crickets added their own harmony while two loons off in the distance completed the rich sound of this waterfront concert. Stepping on the dock, the water lapped against the wood, and MC and her dad wobbled a bit as they gained their balance and then finally sat on the edge, letting their legs dangle over into the water. MC's father wrapped her with the light blanket. 
guess what? There's going to be a meteor shower tonight. Look up into the sky. There's so many stars. It looks like a dark sheet covered in pinholes, her father pointed up to the sky with a big grin. Is that a shower of shooting stars? Can we wish upon them? pondered MC with a big sigh. Yep, we sure can. And if we're lucky, there will be a lot of stars shooting into the night and we'll be able to make a ton of wishes. Better get your wishes in order. Seconds later, the silence was broken by MC. Dad, why did Grandpa have to die? Jojo was so strong. He was so funny. He was so happy. And he didn't seem old to me. Ah, oh, sweetie, Jojo had to die because his body was not well. He fought a good fight against the disease, but like anything in this physical world, things eventually wear out and they can't be fixed anymore. One thing for sure, his spirit didn't break. Do you think his spirit died? No, I don't. I believe his spirit is within us. Some people say that once someone dies, their spirit flies up to the stars. They stay there until they sense their loved ones need them. Then they fly down to the invisible silent angels on our shoulders. They speak to us in our thoughts. Those encouraging thoughts make us feel reassured. Those thoughts help guide us. Hmm, that's neat. So that would mean that even though Jaju is gone, he's sort of here with us, giving us ideas? MC thought out loud as she splashed the water with her legs. Yep, sighed her dad, gazing into the sky. Hey, look, there's a falling star. Off into the distance, she saw the longest falling star that seemed to go on for at least three seconds. She wished with her hand over her heart. What did you wish for? asked her father. I wish that one day we'd work together, you and me like bright stars. I'd be dazzle and you could be sparkle. Maybe the business could bring goodness to the world and make people happy, grinned MC. Hmm, sounds like a plan. You might be on to something, little dazzle. The loons continued their haunting coos and echoed over the shimmering glass like lake. The bullfrog pulsed out his rhythmic horn. Dad, look over there. It's another one. I'm wishing, shouted MC as she pointed in the direction of the evergreens. Did you wish on something this time? Her dad smiled. Yes, I did. I wish that I'd always be able to be a positive and supportive dad, showing patience and understanding just like my dad. Even when you're angry? Even when I'm angry. You know, Dad, you just wasted a wish. You're that way already. You always love me, and even when you're not too happy. Ah, oh, thanks, Princess, but I want us it to stay that way. I just want to be the best dad I can be, nodded her father. Tiny flashes of light danced in the distance. Dad, did I just see another falling star? Nope, I think your eye caught a glimpse of a firefly. Sure enough, she began to see fireflies everywhere, darting, flashing like ballerinas performing a majestic crescendo. MC was inspired. She loved to dance was often known for giving the family dance concerts on Sunday nights. She quickly got up and started to dance on the dock, spinning and weaving her arms like a prima ballerina. MC, please be careful, she giggled but continued with the performance, now turning in the other direction, executing a pas de chat. Mary Catherine, please be careful, you're going to shouted her father, but not in time because a second later, MC had taken a grand leap off the dock into the water. Her father immediately dove in after her, pulling her up under his arms while treading water. Panic covered his face as he cried out, Are you okay? Breathe. MC's face was covered by her long hair and she was coughing. (laughs) But with determination, she pulled back her hair and smiled. Hey, Sparkle, wasn't that refreshing? Her father helped her gain her balance on the dock stairs. Dripping wet, they both took a seat on the dock. Her father shook his head with a scowl on his face. MC made a funny face, causing both of them to burst into laughter. 
They huddled under the blanket along the edge of the dock. Dad, see, you still like me, even when I mess up. Thanks. We all make silly choices sometimes. Hey, Dazzle, do you want to stay out here and make more wishes while we dry off? Asked her father, giving her a hug. Sure, Sparkle. I want to dream and wish. I bet we're not alone. I think you're right, Dazzle.